A huge percentage of students wish for life in tertiary institutions after completion of secondary school education. It is a life meant to turn these young souls into professional giants, but what they did not know is that some of the people that they are required to trust are wolves in sheep clothing that expect sexual favors from these young folks. Our reporter Nemukane Samuel highlights the nightmare encompasses. I am Namukana Samuel. Having been in the university for four years, I have seen some of my fellow students going through victimization, some who haven't graduated up to now, the main reason being not giving in to sexual favors, mostly from lecturers. From a research by Campus Me Too, more than 60% of female students and 30% of male students are being victimized every year. As a student, I have gone through sexual harassment firsthand. Um, my scenario is a rather, is a rather weird one, but um, what happened is I joined the institution in which I'm studying currently in uh, 2017, and I was 17 years old at that time. Um, I was a transfer student. I had just transferred from another institution. I was, you know, I was asked, I got called to, st to study a certain course in another institution. I didn't want to do that, so I transferred to where I'm studying at the moment. So I got in late when students had actually done their first cuts, their first assessment tests. And um, so here I am trying to catch up on a unit and all my units and study and do my makeup cuts and try to settle in, get to know people. And um, I think one of my male lecturers took advantage of the situation, of the fact that I actually needed extra learning to be able to be at par with my fellow students. So um, it began by him asking me to follow him for extra learning materials. We spent a day with Diana, not her real name, here in Nairobi. She was sexually harassed throughout her life in college with a lecturer who was teaching her several units. Come to my office, pick these papers, um, come and pick this, um, this whatever assignment, you know, extra assignment and stuff like that. And um, before I knew it, it's, he was demanding sexual favors to be traded for him helping me, assisting me in trying to catch up with his particular, this particular unit he was teaching. And um, at that time, I really, you know, I'm trying to settle in and I have no idea of where can I go and say, hey, I am being harassed. I don't know who to talk to at this particular time. I don't know which office to go to. I'm not even sure if the university has such kind of a setup. As ladies, you know, you get sexually harassed on a daily basis. From the moment you leave the house, you know there's a very high probability of being harassed. From the Makanga guy, uh, the Buddha Buddha guys, you take a matatu, you light from the matatu, you get harassed from Otonabuta Bangi Naukonja, they harass you and then you get to class and your lecturer harasses you in a place where you're supposed to feel safe. The guy was a very harsh lecturer. Just um, thinking, just in his class, he's just, he's harsh. What happens if I say no to his demands of sexual favors? So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, probably I'm going to flunk this exam or he will embarrass me in class or stuff like that. I didn't want to put myself in that position. And honestly, I was just paying much attention at trying to catch up and be able to study. And all this pressure mounting from him um, was also getting too much. And um, at some point, he, he used to ask me out. How what? 66% of our staff ni lecturers ambao wana wana dhulumu hawa wanafunzi. Sasa tunaweza sema uh, uh, lecturers kwa sana. Lecturers na professors uh, among the university staff ndio wana dhulumu wasichana uh, ama wana dhulumu students kwa sana. It seems the perpetrators mostly use money and their power to award marks to lure young students. It it got to a point at which he wasn't asking. He was telling me to do stuff. And uh, one day he asked me to follow him, you know, 
to a certain town. I don't want to mention the town which is out of Nairobi. So he told me, hey, meet me in this town on Sunday. It was, I remember it was, it was Saturday, Saturday night. He said, you'll be about three hours. Um, you come to this particular town. And I felt cornered. It is not only Diana who is being sexually harassed. I got several testimonials from several universities of students who were continuously harassed. This is a research done by Campus Me Too in different universities. In Chuka University, one victim says, My lecturer called me into his office and told me how good looking I am. He began touching me and his actions filled me with fear so much so that I ran out of the office crying. This event affected me psychologically as well as in my studies, I ended up dropping the entire unit. He wasn't requesting me to do that. And I'm thinking, okay, if I say no, what happens the next time he shows up in class? And I went. And um, that has been the most horrifying experience of my, you know, my university life. And I remember that Monday, I don't know, I f it felt so strange as I was sitting with my classmates. I felt like I lost trust in my lecturers, my male lecturers, my fellow male classmates. And sitting in his, but this particular unit after that um, weekend out of Nairobi was, was even worse because I felt embarrassed. I couldn't concentrate. There was no way I was going to concentrate on that particular unit. From the University of Nairobi, one student who was interviewed by Campus Me says, While I was on holiday, I received a call from this lecturer who informed me that I had failed his unit and he needed to see me in person to explain the situation. We met and he wanted to exchange a passing grade for small favors in a private apartment. He failed me for two more exams and I was stressed during this period that it also led to my lower performance in other courses. There are cases where students have complained uh, that uh, they are being harassed. Uh, unfortunately for our case, we have not had such an incident. But whatever it is, it's a bad incident to not happen. Uh, we need to treat students with a lot of uh, caring uh, because they are number one uh, customers. And so the way you treat your customer at the shop there is the way you should treat your students. They need a lot of support. Many of them come here when they are still very young. This is where they get their first freedom uh, to experience so many other things. The pressures started mounting um, about three weeks after that particular incident. So it was every day almost, or uh, four days of a week, he'd, be, he'd say, I'm in my office after 5 p.m. You come over to my office and um, he would ask me to, you know, do all this kind of sexual stuff for him. and. Uh, it felt humiliate. It felt humiliating. I, I just didn't know what to do. So, as a 17 year old um, new student in a school, I felt like I was being coerced into a relationship that shouldn't have existed in the first place. From the College of Accountancy, there was a lecturer who was consistently making sexual advances at my friend, and even gave her a bad grade because she had refused to comply with it. Because of this incident, I thought about quitting school. I am now happy that we are only attending online classes due to COVID-19. However, I fear to face this lecturer once the schools resume normally. They tell you um, you're going to fail in a paper. They fail you in a paper so that you can go to them with missing marks and they'll ask for sexual favors in return. You know, And this is something that is not being talked about enough. It's something that Universities are not acting on enough. From Technical University of Kenya, a testimonial reads, I was sexually harassed by a lecturer. One afternoon, I went to his office and he started staring at me from head to toe without a word. I felt intimidated and could not speak. He then complimented me as sexy. He kept saying things about my dress code and how my hips were protruding well in my dress. It was uncontrollable and I went home very sad and I didn't know who to talk to and I couldn't even open up about this issue because what really happens in such kind of things is we are blamed. If you tell someone something like that, they'll go, what are you wearing in class? What is your conduct? This is the societal mindset 
And trust me, I'm not able to, I'm not ready to go through the societal consequences. Uh, that is a social, it's, uh, it contributed to personal weaknesses of people uh, and uh, it's all over in society. Uh, you've seen uh, uh, parents abusing children uh, uh, and I think it's uh, a breakdown in our social structure uh, so that it's also feeding into uh, high institution of lying, but in high institution of lying it should not happen. From the Coastal Pwani University, I approached one professor to be my supervisor, but he started sending me suggestive texts and late night calls. He told me that I was beautiful and he would make me pass if I agreed to be his girlfriend and have fun with him. I finished my project, but he did not mark it nor hand over my results. I ended up failing in the unit and I did not graduate with my classmates. To talk to some of my friends. And surprisingly, the person I talked to was going through something similar. For her, she couldn't pass a certain place in school because she says every time she passes there, this guy will call him and ask you know, for them to go on a coffee date or something like that. So there were places she couldn't just walk. There are places, you know, like restricted. For her, it was just, yeah, that's a no-go zone. From Kenyatta University, one time I met my lecturer leaving the school and he told me that he was going the same direction as me and did not mind giving me a lift. I trusted him and I went. We got to the Garden City Mall where he said he had to buy something. He started forcefully kissing me. I felt so bad and I did not perform well in his unit. My experience was traumatic. I was so psychologically affected to the point that I couldn't concentrate in class and I wasn't taking it anymore. I changed my course. After, after this, you know, out this weekend out of Nairobi and these three weeks, I changed my course and I started studying something afresh. Universities are not going to take sexual harassment seriously, you know. So what's the point of reporting? That's what they'll ask. And some of them feel, you'll be victimized. How is society going to look at me? At Maseno University, my brother was a lecturer and I'm writing this on behalf of other students. Every weekend, he will bring different female students to our home with the excuse that he was tutoring them. In reality, he was taking sexual favors in exchange for grades. I didn't tell my mom. Um, I didn't tell my mom all this stuff during this period. But she knew about what the experience I had been through two years later. This is a testimonial from Jomo Kenyatta University of Science and Technology. I had a missing mark in one of my units and I went to follow it up at the administrator's office. When I got to the office, a man started touching my breasts and told me that he would sort out my missing mark if I agreed to have sex with him. I felt so intimidated and scared. I did not get my missing marks and I had to repeat the unit. Uh, uh, targeting every person in the university, but 66% was uh, was sexual harassment from lecturers. So you can see that this is the main, the problem is really lies here. For those who are in schools and are going through something like this, I want to tell you guys that there is power in numbers and there is, uh, you know, there can be massive uh, response when people speak up. So don't be shy that you are being harassed you're going through something that people need to hear and needs to be responded to. The greatest challenge I encountered during this compilation is that most of these victims are left traumatized and depressed. Many do not want to appear before cameras, but many young girls and sometimes men are going through trouble before getting that grade in our Kenyan colleges and universities. Namukana Samuel, Switch TV, Nairobi.